How you doing guys? Today is Aiden from Gamepair here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to deal with the Matza Supreme fight. Uh, from summoning it to actually killing it. Um, if you've been in this area, uh, Sizzling Sands, you'll have possibly scanned the Matza and be wondering how to actually get it. Well, it's a very late game mission that you do for Crondo. If you keep doing little jobs for Crondo, he will eventually ask you to catch it for him. So when you first arrive there, Crondo will run up to the pyramid and he'll get the initial plate to pop up. You need to run down, break open the uh, little sarcophagus there and grab the Bombino out of it and place it on this pad. It will explode and clear the pad for you and then you can just pick up the Bombino. You don't need this one for anything else. Uh, just put your launch pad down on the exposed pad and that will start the Matza Supreme fight. Yeah, it is. It's it's basically a fight. Um, so yeah, it'll slot into place and the Matza Supreme will start paying attention and she'll come in much closer than where it was before. Push you off, which gives you a mild indicator of like the, the signs for what to do in this fight are reasonably tough to actually read, but it's a good, it's a good encounter. So it's a good idea to run back up to the top of the pyramid and just track the launch pad to the the Matsu Supreme. Just uh, run your uh, reticle over it and it will start to track it. Then what you need to do is get yourself a Bombino. The trick here is to use hot sauce and your sauce slinger to get the Bombinos to run into these little hurricanes or tornadoes that form after the uh, Mothra comes into, Matza even, comes into position over one of the uh, statues. Then tr use the launch pad to throw the Bombino at it and run down and activate the axe on the statue again to give it a little slice. And you just need to repeat this process. I think it's three times in total doing it this way or twice in total doing it this way. But uh, it will just cycle around to the statues grab the bombinos throw it at it and hit it with the with the bombino from the launch pad so there you go you can see it falling down when it falls it will stun bombinos making it super easy to get more of them which is great and the third section is a little bit more off so the third section of the fight, you still need the Bombinos, so go around and pick them up. But now the Matza will be causing these large tornadoes. Sometimes you'll get lucky, like I did there, where it will actually suck one up um, without you needing to. But what you'll kind of need to do is jump up into the large tornado and let it carry you up as high as it can go. Then throw the Bombino up, it will carry it the rest of the way and hit the guy. But if you get lucky like I did, which is nice, it'll just pull one up the whole way without you having to interfere. And yeah, that's it. After it gets hit the third time, it will just become a slice of pizza. And you can pick it up and go give it to Crom though. And that's how you get through that particular encounter. So thanks for watching, guys.